This is Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pilara reporting live from my living room. Yes, we are still at home, but enjoying every minute that I can spend with you. And it's been a great week. Uh, Thursdays, of course, are my favorite day of the week. And I was just thinking about like great gift ideas because you always want to get that special someone, something unique. And do you all know years ago, Kara Kinnear, she got me a sweater that has Thursday on it. And I wear that thing with pride. Actually, Kara, guess who's taking it over? Because it shrunk a little bit because we uh -huh. dried it. Sorry. Uh, Caroline, because now Caroline is, she's grown like four inches this year. So she wears my Thursday sweater. But that is the kind of friend that remembers things you like and boom, gets you the, the great Well, gift. I was going to say, I love what are you stuff. to get your girlfriend who loves Thursday when you see a sweater with Thursday on it? And that sweet Caroline of yours growing four inches. Yeah. She's a supermodel now, just like this dog is this what? uno look Me? i was going oh. out to get my mail and you can't see it right now so uno, uno? I, i'll explain it to you but this is the cover of the smithsonian with an australian shepherd on the cover that looks exactly like uno and i think hey. you might have an undercover supermodel in your home uno does uno leave for extended periods of time yeah. during the day and show up on magazines i don't know it's beautiful yeah it's beautiful <laughs> and he was signing autographs the other day. I was like, why is there a crowd at the house? I thought maybe they were coming to see me, but no. <laughs> it's Uno. Oh, it's I've got to get a copy of that. Well, you know, Jim. I know. I will. I, I save this Uno, um, so especially for you and Jim do, so you can frame it and put it in your house and enjoy it. And I'm um, making waves at the dog show this oh, year, too. Oh, thank you, Kara. Anytime. You're so thoughtful. All right, um, let's get into good so stories. Thoughtful. And speaking of Caroline, we've said the name a few times. You know, I feel so honored I get to share this first story because it is about a viewer from Griffin who wrote in with quite an accomplishment. So this is Yay. by Caroline Smith. And Caroline Smith just graduated with honors. And um, she graduated with honors in something that might not be typical for a, a woman, but maybe it is. But it is in the field of welding and pipe fitting. And Caroline was inspired because yes. her grandmother was actually a riveter in World War II and often regaled Caroline with stories of um, her great feats during that time, but also just what it was like to be a woman in the field during World War II being a riveter. I can't imagine she should write a book. Um, I'm sure the stories are plentiful and so great. And um, it, she just inspired her, obviously, to take this career path. And and Caroline herself has not had an easy life. She lost her father um, and her brother, and um, she was diagnosed with an oh autoimmune disease. But she wanted this message to get out. She said she wanted every girl to know that um, don't let anything stand in your way and that sh you can achieve anything that you want to achieve. So I just love that message, and I love that she... Um, was inspired by yes. her grandmother and she didn't let anything stand in the way of her dreams. So Caroline, thank you for letting us know so we can tell the world or just Atlanta or Georgia, whoever's watching. Every, Kara, <laughs> every day we ask our viewers mm. to please write in. And so thank you, Caroline. It means the world to us when we just feature any good, good news story, yeah. but especially when it's close to home um, and we can give you kudos and props. Congratulations um, and yes. Girl yes. power. Girl That's power. Incredible. I love that. Nothing can stand in the way or should stand in the way of your dreams. And congratulations to you, Caroline. All right. We yeah. want to let everyone know a quick reminder. Yes. Don't forget tomorrow, 11 Alive is teaming up with Publix and the Salvation Army for the 38th annual Canathon, and we want you to be involved. You can look right there on your screen and see um, where you can go to a drive through We want to invite you to bring your canned goods, drop them off at any location you see tomorrow, December 4th, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, you can call in. Also, this is pretty cool, 11 Alive's first ever Canathon telethon, where many of your 11 Alive favorites will be answering the phone. How cool, I'm gonna call and Yay. see if she can wrestle or answer the phone when I call. Um, to help our neighbors in need, maybe no show kidding. Up I don't know, call them up. Um, they'll be taking calls to maybe accept crash. donations, benefiting the Salvation Army between 11 and one, also five to seven. You can call us at the number 404-885-7611. And as always, Christine, you can just go to 11alive.com slash Canathon for all the information you just saw, the phone number if you need reminded, and um, we'll see you doing that tomorrow. Call in, drive by. There's plenty of ways yeah. to help those in need.
Absolutely, and the need is great. As we learned on Giving Tuesday, uh, there's so many organizations that need our help, including the Salvation Army. We need to feed our fellow citizens of Atlanta. There is, um, guys, I'm telling you, every year there's a need, but this year more than ever. So thank you, Kara, for that scoop. And let's see, yeah, let's call in tomorrow, donate, and then see who we get. Hope we get, I get Crash, because he's silly. He's silly and fun. Okay, thank you, Kara. And guys, if you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, share it with us.